Hello everyone, this is Intro to DeFi and in this video we're gonna cover Phantom Uniswap, FUni and if you don't know about Uniswap it's basically one of the biggest decentralized exchanges out there and it's using automated market making system there are automated market makers so we're gonna cover that and first few minutes will be the math and the algorithm behind it so it's probably will be boring for you but let's start in this example we're gonna cover 50-50 liquidity pools but there are 90 to 10 and 98 to 2 liquidity pools as well but for this example we're gonna cover 50-50 and there is a pool where all, all the liquidity providers put both parts of the trade for a trade to happen we need to have the both parts for example if we want phantom and usd phantom usd trade to happen we need to have phantom and usd in the pool and to provide liquidity to pool you have to add not just fdm but fusd as well so let's say in our hypothetical pool we have 999 fdm and 999 usd if we want to add more liquidity we have to add one fdm and one usd or you can add 500 FTM or 500 FUSD just don't forget that you have to add at the same rate the pool has so with our liquidity now there are 100 or uh, 1000 FTMs and 1000 dollars there so your pool share is 1 FTM plus one dollar over one thousand FTM plus one thousand dollars so it's point one percent and how to determine the price there are one thousand FTM and one thousand FUSD so if you divide them one to the other you will get the price and in this hypothetical pool for now one FTM is equals to one FTM equals to one dollars but when we try to trade it won't be like that you'll see why so let's say we want to trade our one FTM token for dollars we put FTM to the liquidity pool and take dollar out of the liquidity pool so what is the math behind it it's that is that beautiful simple but brilliant formula x times y equals k so in our example our x is how much phantom there is our y is how much dollars there is and k is constant so we had 1000 FTMs and 1000 dollars so our constant is 1 million and we try to trade our FTM for a dollar so we add 1 dollar to the pool so how much uh, sorry 1 FTM to the pool so how much dollars there have to be we just divide 1 million to 1001 and we get 999.01 so there has to be 999.01 dollars in the pool and we previously had 1000 dollars so if we extract this number from the previous one we get how much dollars we should take it's a little bit complicated 
if you are not familiar with the automated market making system, but it's not that complicated actually. So at first one FTM was one dollar and now one FTM is nine ninety nine over one thousand one which equals to point nine nine eight dollars and price impact we had here you can see price impact it's taken from PWA wallet but for our example the price impact we had was 0.2% which is the first price the last price over first price and the slippage is we get 0.999 dollars but we were expecting to get one dollar so if we divide them we get the slippage and you can you can choose the slippage tolerance in the settings in the PWA wallet which I will cover shortly after and when providing liquidity there's a risk of impermanent loss I won't dive deeply into imp impermanent loss if you want me to dive it mathematically you can comment below but basically if the price fluctuates much you will you will lose some value so let's go to PWA wallet now we're in the PWA wallet and here you can see a funi and if you click it you will see swap and pools and here you can see what I was talking about this is the first pool the phantom liquidity it's 1.4 million and this is the FUSD liquidity which is 250,000 and this is the price which is basically if you divide this number to this number you'll get this and if you want to add liquidity you click here and it will it will transfer you to here and if you want to swap you can click here or like you instantly go to swap and you choose FUSD and if you want to trade you will see the price and you can change here and you will see what you'll receive at minimum and your price impact of the pool is this because you will in our hypothetical example I didn't do math about liquid provider fee for education purposes but for incentivizing liquidity providing there is a 0.3% fee that goes to liquidity providers and you will get your pool share times 0.3% for example if you have 1% of the pool of the whole pool you will get 0.3% every trade like you will work like Binance my friend but you will be your own Binance so let's let's do some liquidity providing first we go to fmint and we previous in the previous video we locked our collateral and let's mint since with it so for example let's mint 0.5 FUSD so it's done as you can see it's almost instantly so that's the power of Opera Network and add liquidity for 
for this much FUSD we also need the other part of the trade so we need to wrap our phantom token so let's wrap let's say let's wrap all of the phantom tokens we have and it's wrapped let's go to the Affinity again pulls have liquidity let's say we want to put this much FUSD and it automatically calculates how much WFTM you need to put into the pool so if we put supply and There are three parts of this transaction and if you submit to all of them now congratulations your uh, liquidity provider in the pool and your position is shown here and if you want to remove if you want to withdraw your liquidity you just click here and you will like choose the amount of your pool share you want to withdraw so that's it that's it for this video if you have questions you can ask me down below and one of the one of you asked me to do PWA wallet to Binance change to Binance transfer so the next video will be about that and I have much work to do in real life so sorry for the late posting of video but I'm getting there and see you in the next video thank you for watching goodbye